Have you ever had a situation like this? Hey, can somebody open up the door? The door was blocked because someone left the basement door open. Situations like this not only block you from entering your house through the garage, but it also damages your doors on the inside as well. To solve this problem, I went to Home Depot and got an adjustable spring hinge to close the door after it was used. Before you go to Home Depot, there are a few things that you must check. First is how many screws your hinge has on your door. Mine had three. Next, you need to determine if the corners of the hinge is squared off or rounded. In my case, it didn't matter, so I just went with the squared off hinge. The hinge only cost $14.98 at the time of this video from Home Depot. In the kit, you get a spring-loaded hinge, six screws to mount it, a 5 seconds Allen key, and a pin to hold the spring tension once you adjust the door. After the hinge is installed and operational, the pin will be installed in the hole to lock the spring tension. The first step in this process is to remove the screws that are holding the hinge in place. This is way quicker with a drill. However, I use the screwdriver. It is at this time that you would want to stick something underneath the door to hold it up or ask for an extra set of hands to secure the door. Once all the screws are out, it is time to take out the hinge. If yours is anything like mine, it will be stuck with paint and need a little bit of help to come off. With the hinge removed, it is time to put the new one in place. I chose to install mine with the adjustment on top. This will make it easy to use the 532nd hex key because I can actually see where it is going. However, you might choose to flip it over so that you cannot see the adjustments. I started by adding one screw to each side to secure the hinge, followed by the rest of the screws to finally secure the hinge to the door frame. Next, you'll want to check the functionality of the door before you apply any tension to the spring. With the door fully operational, it is time to adjust the spring. You are going to start by making small adjustments. I was turning one hole at a time and then checking the operation of the door. Make sure that you do not press the pin in fully until you have the door set at your desired tension. If you accidentally push the pin in too far, you can easily remove it with a magnet. I ended up turning mine a total of four holes. I recommend that you turn the spring one extra hole to allow for half open doors and also to give you some room for when the spring loosens up. This is what the end result should look like. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, comment below to let me know if any bit of this helped you out, and subscribe to see more upcoming projects from me. Thanks for watching.